like this. Here we go. All right, guys, it's the next day and the actual official start of the Unnamed Nationals. And I guess you could say it's kind of the uh, calm before the storm. It's like 6.30 right now and gates open at 8, so I'm gonna have breakfast here in a little bit, got my coffee, and uh, wait to see who uh, starts rolling in today for uh, for the event. But a lot of people that came out yesterday, that was really cool, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get some food and get some coffee in us and get to racing. All right, with Dodge Whisper being one of the first ones to fire up their car, it's uh, I think No Name Nationals has really kicked off. Everybody's gonna probably gonna be firing up soon, get the car warmed up, and uh, we're gonna find tech when the tech guy gets here. And uh, yeah, I guess there's some stuff going on first and before we get to racing, so it's gonna be a good weekend. All right, not to be outdone by that dirty hippie, Blake and the legendary J Bo, we're about to crank up with the Nacho Cuda. But in our group, have any issues? Hopefully not. I think we'll make it. <laughs> yeah. Cole, oh, you think you're gonna do today? I don't know yet. Cold blooded. I've never raced this car yet. We'll see. Experience will kick in. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Track down where uh, Tech is, cause uh, I gotta give him my card, and I don't feel like carrying around and possibly losing it. Maybe run into some people on the way. See some sweet cars. What are you doing? Nothing. Don't. Look. You're still you're still running those, right? I was until now. Ah. I'm trading them to Ryan. It's like these tires just keep getting crazy. Man! Some MT! You're gonna. You're definitely gonna hook it now. Hopefully. No, no issues there. You know where Tech is? No. I'm not worried about it yet. Okay. Right th oh, in the garage there? That's where they did Tech, yeah. Okay. Like yet, I think we're gonna do the group photo thing at 10 o'clock and then probably start slowly getting going from there. Right. And like I said, if you get past Tug at Tri-State, I'm sure that. Oh, God. <laughs> like I said, I see the car rolling with three lug nuts on the whole car and had four tires on it, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Crackers, right. I'm surprised you're leaving any tread left on this thing. I was babying them. You do a burnout contest in them? 
I brought my uh, duster tires. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On top of our rounds. Forgot about that. He's going to have all the traction of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the biggest tire you is can that, Is that a slick or is that a radial? It's a pro radial. Oh, okay. Ra radial. <laughs> now, pretty similar to the, the Hoosiers. So, you should do good with those. Feel about the first time going down the track today? Oh, I'm nervous as hell. This is straight nervous as hell. But Robert Halfway House Garage has got this car dialed in and he assures me a win. He's gonna win today? Oh, you didn't say that? Yeah, he assures me a win. It's guaranteed. Awesome. So, well, we'll just uh, see how it goes. Maybe, maybe a leisurely head at first to make sure the uh, car goes straight. Right. You know, lean into it a little bit. Yeah, just, you know, test pass, kind of a. Pass. Yeah. Something what, that, that um, doesn't end with loss of life. The tree comes out pretty fast after you stage. It's... Oh, no, no. I've already uh, pre-packed a pillow and a blanket in there for when I pull up at the, you know, the light. I'll go ahead and take me a nap real quick, and then I'll just ease Excellent. on down that track. Good. It'll be good. Good. Are you doing the bracket, or are you just doing the call-out races? I'm, I'm doing all of it. Awesome. Minus the burnout. I'm not doing the burnout. I didn't bring any extra tires. And those yeah. Yeah, no, I hear that. <laughs> I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Excellent. I'm excited to see this car here and did a great job on it. Oh, yeah. No, it's all due to Robert and the Dodge Whisperer. If, uh, go they, check go yeah. check him out, too. Yeah. Check out Halfway House Garage and the Dodge Whisperer because they weren't here, this car wouldn't be here. So it's plain and simple. I don't know how to build a damn car. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just bolt things on and unbolt things. And I was really good at unbolting things, and it was the uh, hard part was putting it back together. So. Right. That is a little but, trick here. Yeah, it's gonna be good, man. I'm excited. Yeah, let's get down the track here pretty quick. That's right. Well, Joe, how do you think you're gonna race today? So what? How do you think you're gonna race today? Uh, slow and steady. That's all I'm looking for. Steady's oh. all you need. Yeah, whatever whatever dial you put on your window, we'll just write that on mine and try to keep up. That's all I <laughs> That is it, man. I was hoping to at least go a few rounds to make it worth it. Yeah, and I'm not scared to buy back either. No, yeah. happens. Yeah, that's a, as you know, there's there's a lot of luck in bracket racing. Yeah, the guy who's never been down the track before could win the whole thing. Yeah, that's, that's just a ten dollar time trial, right? Or twenty, whatever. It is. Yeah, that's all it is. Yep. Is there, is anybody following anything? I'm excited to see him run down there. Yeah, and maybe we can get him parked when we do our park on the track too. Get all the no bars together, and leave the trash on the other side. Right. Or in right. the back. <laughs> where they where they where, where they belong. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, lining up for the group photo, Ricky. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be look really cool on the track. And all the cars lined up. So apparently, we were the one of the first ones to get registered. We're uh, number seven. Number seven. That's that's what I find crazy. All right. Look at that. I like that Dodge van there. I got Susan's garage. Yeah. I love cool stuff. The return road, we're going the backwards way. Yeah, so kind of a look at it. I was surprised how long the shot off is. Almost a quarter mile of shot off. This is 
Studies Adventure, 69 dark, 408 magnum. And just Mopar Joe in his 68 Barracuda, small black dark. How'd she run? Ran good. So it's a 500 tree. Right. So I had a 0.63. So it's a 16. Okay. One, one three light. Um, one six three seven sixty foot. So. Okay, we got work on that. We can do that. But yeah, 757 at 89. Okay. And uh, Dodge Whisperer went 792 at almost 89. That's pretty good. So. Wow. Out. All right, we're going to the second round, or I guess it's not really the second round, but another time trial, not long after the first one. Took a little air out. Took a little air out, and I think the rest of the drivetrain is up to temperature now. Yep. So, see what we get. It's all there. Okay. Jump car Willie, coming up in the Buick. And Jeray Racer, that's Richard. And it goes straight. Last run was really good. It's about what we normally run, so I'm happy with it, but we're going to try lower. Yep. Sounds good. All right. pretty good today. Walk us through that. So, really fast, loud cars here. Yeah, uh, good time. So, I have my best light of the day, which is 09. Not great, but it's, it's coming down. Getting, it's, I think a lot of it's getting used to the yeah. tree. We'll get you back up there. Uh, 1618, 60 foot. Perfect. Right where we need to be. We're up there with our best. Yeah, Maybe that's. A few thousands off, but 161, where we need to be. And 750 at 90. Right nice. Where we need to be. I went up against that, uh, that, uh, oh, family's garage. That yeah, is that's such a gorgeous, 
gorgeous car. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is what it is for time, but probably the best looking car going down the strip almost. It, yeah, <laughs> I'd, I'd about agree. Yeah, so. That is a good looking car. I don't know how long we're doing in time around. I mean, we not Let's turn more, around and let's get, get one more, more in here. We might get more gas in it. Yeah, yeah, sure. we, we have we're a great. We're not low on fuel pressure, but we, we've uh, we drained some gas today. All right, let's do that. All right, guys, so we're stuck at, or yeah, not stuck, four passes before elimination is good. But I wanted to get one more in, but whatever. So elimination starting soon. Um, some really good competition out here, some really good cars, you know, some, some veteran racers. So we still don't have my work cut out for me. There's a lot of luck in it, but my lights definitely need to improve. So that's where we're sitting at. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get to race in here pretty soon or I'd like the car to cool down just a little bit to help, but it is what it is. So yeah, let's make sure everything's ready to race and get going. Okay, Ricky, round one. I don't know who to line up against it, but we all know bracket racing. It's anybody's game. It's anybody's game. Anybody can win, anybody can lose. Right, so do our best. All right, good luck. Both of you red light? Nope. Oh, he just red lit. 0.492. Oh. Johnny, Johnny. I'm Got him. <laughs> that was a win, boys. <laughs> Hey, Ricky. Unfortunately, we're here in the buyback lane. That's okay. You know, the car's running pretty consistent, so I think my cut through the lane. We find, don't know who I'm racing yet, because uh, we got some uh, call races, I think. There's still got to go, so yeah. I don't know who's going to race. All right, well, good luck.
Ryan, good job, Duddy. Close race, my man. Did so good today, man. Car is running great. Just like that. You know where I'm from? They burn our fields in the spring. I came down here and I saw these huge fires. You know, we're watching the fire down here and starting off, but it's funny. Man, that looked good. <laughs> so good. Well, Dottie, you ran good today. And Tried. bought back in. Yep. And due to me, yeah. knocked you out. But yeah. you were, you were, had a good light, and you almost ran your number. So well, you know, since I've had at least seven hours of drag race training against your good year of solid bracket racing, I don't feel so bad about losing. Hey, I really don't. You ran a dang good race, and that was my first legitimate, like true bracket race where I ran real close to my time, and you ran your time. So I'm good about it. Right. Ain't nothing wrong hey, with losing to you, Ricky. So what a lot of people have told me is you got to find every way to lose before you can actually win one. Oh, I'm finding all of them. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's some more out there that I'm going to, uh, if I find some new ways, I'll let you know. I think I'm still trying to find those ways. <laughs> Done the same way multiple times, too. Yeah, no, I, I get it, man. I get it. No, this is... I'm having a blast. I've never done oh, this. good. You know, you know me. I'm an off-road rock crawler guy. And right. Doing drag racing. How y'all do this blows me away. The fact that y'all are driving even faster cars than me is it's so exciting. I love. Not it. much work. You you you'll be a lot faster. Yeah. Not a lot more. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of work, but between between you, that tree productions, and that dirty hippie, y'all gonna get me dialed in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, better see some more drag racing videos when you get back. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. No, this is going to be great, man. Awesome. I appreciate it. Okay, walk, okay, walk us through uh, that race with Duddy in the second round. Yeah, so props to him and get, get the car here. You know, he had, he had to buy back and lost the buyback, but he, he had a point one you can win with, and he was 700 top of the number, which not far off. For a car that he's never raced before, so good That's, job by him. Yeah, good job. Uh, I dialed 750 again. I went 752 at 85. Oh, you're on the brakes. I was on the brakes, but it's big, oh, with the 016 light. So I had a really good light. Um, but it's 1611 60 foot best by. Did Duddy cut a better light than you? No, no, he had a point one. I had an 016. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, it's the best 60 foot we've had by two, three hundreds. So, nice. I don't know what the deal is there, but uh, yeah, seven, well, yeah, 75 so on the brakes. A good driving to get it down there, so we may dial down. It's 49? Maybe. Uh, I'm going to look at her, I don't know how close it be or accurate, I'm going to look at her 1180 run. See how that compares. Okay. That's a full eight, 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 eight. Yeah. Hey, good, good job. Good yeah. light. All right, round number three, and uh, we had a good top end race the last time. Uh, so we dialed the 48 because uh, looking back at our 1180 run we had earlier in the year, it was our eighth mile, and that was pretty equivalent. We were, I think we are in the exact same 330 foot. So, 48, we ran a 747 that passed, I think, 5 or something. So, I don't think we're leaving too much on the table. Okay. Well, good luck.
Good win. I think he was uh I think he was slow on his number. Not sure. But hey, good race. I'm gonna talk to him a little bit. Alright, wanna walk us through that? Yeah, so I went against uh most of the parts and rust. Yeah, Patrick. Patrick. Very and cool car. His his 318 in that car is what we've been brainstorming, kind of wanting to do for our car, and it's he's got it. He's got it working. Yeah, so I don't know. He's, I mean, he was slow on the tree. I was slow on the tree. I probably had a. I probably had a. Probably a tenth on him, almost on the tree. Okay. It was a lot. Um, but I don't, I don't know what I would have ran. I, I had a bunch on him, so I let out. Okay. 7, 755 and 83, almost 84. So. Oh, okay. But for whatever reason, uh, my 60 foot didn't register. Right. So. All right, yeah. let's brainstorm what we're going to dial. We might uh, go closer to 50 again. Probably back to 50, closer. All again. right. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's get this car turned around. Okay, going against the Mustang 828, 750. Yep. Good luck. Well, I, another one of those, you gotta find every way to lose. Every one, one, I've learned that LED trees are a lot tougher than, I, guess, I don't know what kind of ball, you know, they normally are. Incandescent, yeah. So we've never raced an LED tree. So my, in the initial, my lights were all over the place today. Yeah. So. That's it okay. Is, but I had a, my, my last run is a one, six, one, five, 60 foot, one, six, one, five. So anything under 160. Hey, 161's good, yeah. Right. Hey, and the car then, run good. And so, and we dialed 750. And, and obviously, I, I knew I, I lost, so I kept my foot into it. What'd you run? 749. Nice. With an eight. Nice. I ran my number, you know, for the most part. And I handed another win away because he had a point to light. Hey, it's what it is. Hey, we're having fun. Yeah. Some good racing day. Hey, let's fire up the grill. Hey, both our guns going on the final round. Yeah. So let's let's keep cheering him on. Today was a good light. Good job, Joe. Congratulations. Overall winner. Get these cameras off me. No, no, no. This is your punishment. <laughs> good job. Here's your Dang National Bracket Champion. Good job, Joe. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Can I have a beer now? Yeah. Yeah. all over you, man. Alright guys, that's a wrap on day one of No Name Nationals. A lot of fun things happened. We made it to the quarterfinals of bracket racing. Beat myself again. The car did what it needed to do. Ran its times. So no problems there. Um, we got the call outs tomorrow. And we got the small tire shootout. So we're going to be in that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this content today. And uh, we're ready to bring you some more tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one.